This is a promised home, a place where Lona Henry, who is HIV positive, and her family can now call home. Lone and advocate for HIV and AIDS got the opportunity through Habitat for Humanity of Trinidad and Tobago to get a home rebuilt. This came as Lone and her husband Kurt was threatened by social welfare that their two children will be taken away if they don't have better living facilities. The family home was rotted and termite infested. Speaking at the handing over ceremony, Minister of Community Development Nizam Bash contends that the government is bent on eradicating poverty. There are still too many of our fellow citizens seeking the basic human right of shelter. For decades, the reins of the Housing Development Corporation were abused by the previous administration. The promised home was a project of volunteers, which was mostly made up of women, and the initiative was sponsored by the Family Focus Broadcast Network. The Henrys had their first tree planted by the Community Development Minister. Lona challenged ministers of government and church to help with discrimination. And I'm challenging all the new ministers, all the Christian ministers here today, every minister here today represented, I'm challenging you. What are you doing about HIV in your community, in your ministries? What are you doing about HIV in your homes, what are you saying to your grandchildren? Vice President of Habitat for Humanity International, Tori Nelson, says the words cannot build homes, but action. We can talk, but we actually have to put our words into action. And that's what Habitat here in Trinidad and around the world is committed to doing. And it is right, as Janka mentioned, to celebrate this house on World Habitat Day because the problem of, of poverty housing will not be solved just by talking about it. For CNC3, I am Otto Carrington.